Okay, so Shane Beeler, back in the BIOS 1300, 1310 lab. This is for uh, the principles of human anatomy and physiology one, so BIOS 1300. We're just gonna be taking a look at this model here. So a couple of different things we can see. So starting with muscles, we can see here, we can see flexors of the wrist and we can follow it all the way to the wrist. All right, and all the flexors of the wrist are going to have a common origin at the medial epicondyle of the humerus. Lateral side of the forearm, we can see the muscles coming from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and going to the dorsal part of the wrist. This is going to extend the wrist. Muscles above the elbow, we have the biceps brachii, most superficial. Deep to it, we have the brachialis, which you can see here. And on the posterior side, we have the triceps brachii. Other structures that we can identify in this model are going to be nerves. So starting um, here, we have the ulnar nerve coming down behind the medial epicondyle and wrapping around towards the pinky. It's gonna be right by the ulna. So this is our ulnar nerve, nerve root C8T1. We also have from the medial side of the humerus, the median nerve traveling down the forearm in between the radial and ulnar nerve, nerve roots C5 through T1, and this is gonna supply the flexors of the wrist. And on the lateral side, we have the radial nerve. We can see that it branches here, but the radial nerve is gonna travel down close to the radius, to the wrist, and it's going to innervate extensors of the wrist.